So I got this piece of junk car from a friend for 250 bucks with the idea of turning it into a Gambler 500 car. Hopefully staying within a $500 budget, maybe. The first step is to give it a bit of a lift and since the budget is basically non-existent, I'm using a two x four. The car did come with some fancy hubcaps. Yeah, just kidding. Oh wow, that CV axle's like almost new. There is no way someone actually maintained this thing. Oh, these bolts. Nothing ever is just easy, is it? Yes! Well, uh, this top one's been even harder to get out. So the solution was to just hit it even harder. I also may have managed to lubricate my brake rotor. This part is always exciting. Why does it feel like it's angry? Oh, uh, yeah, these should probably... These should probably be, uh, there. Yeah, great. So I've got the top off, and now I just need to replace these little bolts with these. I might as well reuse the old bolt holes. They're not moving, and I have a distinct feeling I'm destroying my vice now. I'll just make some new holes. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh my gosh. Yeah, um, this combo of really powerful drill and really big drill bit feels like it wants to break my wrist at all times. This is fun. You're fine. Oh my gosh. Oh, why? Oh, there, there we go. Yep, great, cool. You know, there's probably an actual tool that does this, but this is kind of working. Well, they're in there and they're almost like, kind of straight, sort of. <laughs> no way, let's go. Now I've just got to tighten the evil death spring a little bit more. And so for the final step, we just have to put a spacer between this and the underside of that. Oh my gosh, this could actually work. Oh, that is so jank. <laughs> but it's gonna work. And it's back on. That was actually a lot of work, but ah, it looks beautiful. Ignore the horrible angle of the CV shaft, but it's great. The only problem is it's really hard to turn because that's what those parts were for. Shoot.